Hi, my name's Nick, and um, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about my story that you probably don't know. I think the first thing that comes to mind is uh, when people see me as a footballer, they, they see the glitz and the glamour, and to be honest with you, there were some times where it was really tough, and particularly in my teenage years, um, I had to sacrifice a fair bit. And lucky enough, I had mentors, I had coaches to help me along the way. I feel very privileged, very lucky, because a lot of my friends and a lot of guys who I guess possessed as much talent as I did, if not more, didn't have those leaders or, or the guidance that I was lucky enough to have. And to help deal with some of the anxiety that I faced with the pressure to perform, the pressure to do well from not only um, myself, but from my friends and my family as well, and, and from the public as a whole. I think the biggest thing I learned was um, you can never be perfect. In the newspaper, when you're doing well, uh, everyone's on your side patting you on the back, but uh, when you're struggling, there'll be people that'll bring you down as well. And, Finding that balance and finding that happy medium to realise that it's okay to fail, it's okay to feel sad and feel down and depressed. There's always going to be a stage where you, you will pull through and, and it'll pass at some stage. Fortunately enough, I was one of the lucky ones to have a mountain of support. But that's not the case for everyone. One in three deaths of younger people is from suicide. And one in five teens say they have high levels of distress. We need answers so that we can help the younger generation embrace a brighter future. And that's why research is really important. So let's do something about it. Join me in posting a younger photo of you and donate to the Embrace team at Telethon Kids. Coming home from a heroine's quest. 